Excuse me, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, in the gate.
Michael's wedding and I'm the ring bearer. Bye! Their journey started back in 2006 when they first met. However, they didn't start dating until about 10 years later when they reconnected. This ring is a symbol of my love. It's all that I am and all that I have. I pledge to you my love. And one way. This ring is a symbol of my love. It is all that I am and all that I have. I pledge to you my love and my life. I am very pleased to finally announce you as husband and wife, and you may now kiss your beautiful bride. And most of you know me and Felicia as a brand, we are a very small family. Today I can say proudly that I've got three grandsons, Jacob, Isaac and Taylor, and a son-in-law, Matthew, and now I've got a daughter-in-law, Jocelyn. So I'm a very proud mother, mother-in-law and a grandmother for all the kids. I also have another memory when Abraham started high school. So it was within the first couple of years of him starting high school. And one day I was sitting and watching TV and every time when Abraham used to come home from school, he used to have so many naps and never understood why. But one day he had a very, very long nap and he woke up and it was around 7.30. He came out, well he knows what I'm talking about now. 7.30 p.m. About 7.30 p.m. Well, Mum, you're pulling the story there. So it was 7.30 p.m. after dinner, I sat down and I was eating dinner and then I was watching a bit of TV, I was in my pyjamas and then he woke up from his nap and then he came out, I saw him packing his school bag. I'm like, okay, maybe he's packing it the night before. He goes back in his room, gets his uniform on, everything, comes out and then he's like, oh, I'm running late for school, can you drop me off at the bus stop? My mum's like, oh, it's 7.30. He's like, yeah, I know, I'm running late. And then mum had to tell him it was 7.30 p.m. <laughs> So growing up, 
It was only basically, as I was saying, mom, Abraham, and myself, and I used to beg my mom every time, I want a sister, I want another sibling, I want a sister. Unfortunately, mom said she was done after two. And now, I basically got my sister, I got my wish. <laughs> Katana has a lump on her front left paw, so she's going to need to have surgery tomorrow morning. And then when she has surgery, she, when she recovers enough, then we'll be able to take her home tomorrow night. Bye, guys. So today is Friday the 25th of October and we're on our way to Caleb's pediatrician's appointment so I will update you about everything when we get home. Caleb's pediatrician's appointment. Everything went well except with his ECG there was a little bit of concern so the pediatrician's going to get a cardiologist to have a look at the results and then he'll get back to me in January at his next appointment. Apart from that his hip ultrasound, his head ultrasound and also his blood test and his EEG which is the brain test everything came back fine and then we just need to find out about the ECG if there was anything linked to the episode that he had a 
few months ago. Apart from that, his weight was 7 kilos, his length was about 62.5 centimeters, and his head circumference was 42.5 centimeters. I'm just waiting for him to wake up and then I'm going to go feed him and then I've got to go pick up Jacob from school. So just in case you didn't understand everything that Jacob was talking about yesterday, so Kitana's got a lump on the front left paw. It's a bit of an open wound. In the beginning, the vet thought it was cancer, but thankfully all the results came back fine and she doesn't have cancer. We believe it could possibly be an ulcer, but it could be something else. And over the last three weeks that she's had it, it has not gotten any smaller. She's been on topical antibiotics plus oral antibiotics, really strong ones, and nothing seems to be working. So the vet has recommended we just get it cut off and then have at least all the healthy tissue so it can heal over and we can save her paw because it just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Even when it's wrapped and she's not licking it, it's not getting any smaller. So that's what she's having the surgery for today. And I can't wait till around 3.30, 4 o'clock and I can call to find out if she's fine and find out when I can pick her up. Anyways, I better go feed Caleb so I can go pick up Jacob and I will talk to you later. Hey guys, Kitana has had a surgery and she has recovered enough. So we're gonna go pick her up, bye. Look how naughty she has been, Jacob. How? She's been hitting her nose on the cage until she oh. was allowed to come home. She was very scared, so she was trying to bite everyone. It's okay, Katana. She was very, very scared. It's okay, honey. You're also, safe. Also, they did give the wrapping in there. Yeah, she's got bandages on her front and back paw. Hey guys, so we're back home from the vets with Miss Kitana. Everything went well with her surgery. The only worries is with Kitana's actual wound. He stitched it up, but he's worried about the stitches bursting and the wound opening up again. So we have to be very careful with that. So for the next week or so, she's not allowed to go on any walks. Most we'll be doing is getting her outside to go to the toilet and the rest of the time she's going to be resting because we do not want those stitches to burst and her wound open up again because that's gonna be another surgery trip for her and that's the last thing that she needs. While she was there, she was very anxious, very stressed out and really scared to the point where she was nipping everyone and not letting anyone near her. She just had enough and wanted to come home so they told me to get there as soon as I can to get her. They couldn't even get her out of the cage. Kitana, what are you doing? So for the next 10 days, she's also on antibiotics as well and she won't be going to the um, dog park anytime soon, at least not for this weekend and next weekend because she just needs time to recover. So apart from that, she's just going to be resting and we're just hoping her stitches don't burst. Anyways, I better get her inside. Dash, Letty and Melina can't wait to see her. They've been missing her so much. They've been crying so much. They've been in and out of the house looking for her and realizing that she's not here. So they're going to be really excited to see her. Anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye. Miss Kitana, you ready to see Dashi and Letty and Lean? cousin's house be because my mum and dad are going to be going to a trash and treasure market. Bye!